Hi, it's Rob from the Bush and Balkan. Today I'm going to be doing a short tutorial on how to paint flames. Now for this I'm using the new Chaos Master of Possessions figure um, and we're going to be using the flames on him to demonstrate how to do it. But you can use the same technique across any figures with flames on, so if you've got like the little burning torches or anything like that on, you can use it on that. And it is a really quick and easy technique to use. So the first colour that we're going to use is Vallejo White and we're going to be using that to colour all the flames in. Now with this you want to have quite a smooth white colour on them, so take your time on it. If you end up finishing the white and it is a bit streaky, just give that another coating and that should be fine and good to go. Now I always find it best to use a larger brush to do the main areas of the flames, just because it gives you better coverage on them, and then any of the small areas where the flames might go down the side of the skulls like the, or into the eye sockets, you can then use a smaller brush to go over those parts. And when we come back, we'll have all of the white finished. We're now going to be working on the flames. We're going to be using quite a few shades to do these. The first shade that we're going to use is Citadel Cassandora Yellow. We're then going to follow that with Citadel Fugan Orange. And then we're going to go on to Citadel Caroberg Crimson. So starting off with the Cassandora Yellow, we're going to apply that pretty liberally across the whole of the flames. You want to take it down to almost where it's coming out of the skull and then further up you can let that pool in the recesses a bit more because it makes it go a nice orangey colour which even with just the one layer makes it look a little bit fiery when we come back we'll have all the Cassandora yellow finished now we're just going to be going on to Fugan Orange now with this layer, what you want to be doing is painting it further up than the yellow was, so you still leave yellow around the bottom of the flames, and then it starts getting darker towards the top. Now the same way you let the, the Cassandora yellow pool, you want to do the same with the Fugan orange, so that darkens up the middle like recesses of the flame a lot more. Then you can use a thinner coating of Fugan orange just to work your way down the higher parts of the flame. When we come back, we'll have all this layer finished. So you can see here where I've had a little bit of a video malfunction and I've started to paint it without it recording. So you can see a couple of the flames have got Caroberg Crimson at the top, but what we're now going to do for this layer is we're going to carry on on the flames that I haven't painted and show you those. So it's Caroberg Crimson, and we're just having the next layer to it. Now the same way that you did with the orange, you want to be adding the Caroberg Crimson to the top of the flames, higher up than the orange, Again, leaving the shade to pool in the recesses and also adding thinner layers of Caribbean Crimson over the raised parts of the flame. And this gives it that sort of like deeper, more coloured look within the recesses and the lighter shades on the top. When we come back, we'll have all the Caribbean Crimson finished. The next colour that we're going to use is a Grax Earth shade, which is a dark brown shade from Citadel. What we're going to do in here is just sort of darkening up the very tips of the flames and around sort of about halfway down the, the Caroberg Crimson. And the reason I use this is it just it darkens it up enough and sort of gives it a, a middle colour between the red and the black, which will be the sort of like the smoky part at the top. So just add a little bit of a Grax Earth shade, you can do that quite thick in the recesses at the very top, but you don't want to go too far down and darken up the whole flame. When we come back, we'll have all your Grax Earth shade finished. Now I'm just using Citadel Null Oil mixed with Vallejo Black, now any black will do, but it's basically two blobs of Null Oil to a tiny bit of black, like a paintbrush tip of black, and that has given it the runny consistency we need to be able to spread it onto the flames without completely covering the colour but enough to give it that dark matte smoky effect that you want at the tip of your flames. When we come back we'll have all this colour finished. The final thing that we're going to do is return to Citadel Cassandora Yellow and all we're doing here is spreading it down from where we applied it earlier, down the white sections of flame, so there's only a tiny little bit white left at the bottom. 
You can also pull a little bit more Cassandora yellow into the recesses and this will help it blend into the darker Fugan orange. When we come back, we'll have all the Cassandora yellow finished. Thanks for watching, I hope you've enjoyed the video and if you have, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future content. Also think about subscribing to some of our other social media, link below. Thanks very much.